Welcome back everyone to the Hello World Sky and this is the next episode of our SFML Asteroids game series and in this video we are going to implement the update logic for our player in here. So you can see that in the last video we are implementing the drawing for the player. In this video I have already gone ahead and created a function called update which takes an argument of type float called delta time. And we are going to use this function to update our player and handle movement and stuff. So in order to do that we are going to check if our keyboard a key is pressed and we can use the SF keyboard is key pressed function for that if the you can use the left arrow key but I'm going to use a because WST is more common and then we are going to say angle uh, we are going to add to that turn speed multiplied by delta time where turn speed is a constant that we are going to define as a constant expression float turn speed which we are going to set to let's just set it to 10 for now and in here we need to actually subtract the angle and we need to add the angle when we do with D so when we do D we need to add the angle multiplied uh, by it, uh, plus equal turn speed multiplied by delta time and in here we are going to execute player dot update here with the appropriate delta time as well I am going to set the default angle to 0 and let us set the turn speed to 100 and one more thing that in the last video our player was looking a bit too I don't didn't really like his appearance uh, the pr uh, the appearance of the spaceship I did not like its appearance so I'm going to change this to on the X only to be 20 the reason I'm doing that is because um, uh, this is going to actually this is it will remain 30 and the reason I'm doing that uh, is to make our player a bit more slim and we're gonna set the turn speed to 200 now let's go ahead and test that out and what you should see is that we can indeed turn our player left and right to just like we want to actually the player shape does not look quite as right so let's just stay in that to negative 20 uh, anyways and this should look uh, a lot better I think let's just try that out and yeah that that looks exactly like I want to and I can press a d and that causes my player to rotate left and right and yeah that's that's actually pretty awesome now it might look to you that the player is not exactly rotating about the center point the reason is that uh, well it is not exactly at the center point so and the reason it's causing that issue uh, is because uh, well there are a lot of different issues that we have got here and uh, well you can kind of try to make it uh, exact uh, you know as far as that is concerned but you can see that mm, the problem main problem is that uh, we have got uh, this going up to 30 while that is only going up to negative 20 so our y axis is not exactly you know correct so if you would like it to you can change this tweak this to make it exactly correct but uh, I'm not going to bother with the origin really uh, you can also set the origin uh, on your own if you want to but we are not going to do any of that instead this is, this is pretty good and it looks quite nice to me so uh, with that then what we can do is uh, well we've got uh, well we have got our rotation working and the only thing that's left to do at this point is to implement the actual movement of the player however it won't be as simple as that because we need to actually calculate the player direction as well now traditionally asteroids only allows the movement forward from wherever the player is facing currently so for that we are going to check if the keyboard uh, key is pressed of w if that is pressed then we are going to add to our position dot x and we will need to calculate the actual direction it won't be as simple of course as just doing that for this we will use some trigonometric function we will take the cos of the angle that of our player and multiply that by the player speed and delta time where player speed is a constant that is yet to be defined and for the y we will do similar but we will use sign so let's go up here and create a constant expression float player speed set that to 100 we uh, we also have another problem which is that this this requires that the angle is in radians while our angle is in degrees for the conversion we will create a constant expression float called m pi which we will set to this value and then we will go down here and uh, uh, create a float called radians which will set to angle multiplied by m pi divided by 180 this is just a standard formula and then we will uh, take the cos and sine of that now we'll actually need to take the negative of the cos and also another thing that it won't work is that we need to be um, pointing uh, in the positive x direction we need our player to be pointing in the positive x direction so for that we'll need to kind of reverse this a bit uh, you know change the x and y basically flip the x and y here and also we'll actually make it so that uh, it is now in this order so that, uh, uh, that it is actually facing in the positive x and not in the negative x direction also I want to make the player speed 200 and uh, you might be getting a problem about uh, uh, this is actually for a double so 1 2 3 4 5 6 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, it contains a lot of those. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, we are going to just keep it uh, up till this one and we are going to uh, you know suffix it with, a, uh, with an S. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And actually, it contains 8. Let's just keep it at that. It will automatically round it to whatever value it needs to be. So we are going to run that and uh, what you can see is that I can move around and everything seems to work quite well. Well except that when I move forward it actually is making me move backwards. Uh, let's just not uh, subtract the sign, let's add that as well because now our player is pointing in the correct direction it should not cause any problems at all. So you can see that now I can move and I can go in whatever direction I'd like and wherever I turn the player always goes in that direction which means that we have got our player movement system working. So yeah guys this is pretty much it for this video and I'll see you in the next one in which we'll implement more interactive elements for our player to do different things in this game. So we'll do that in the next video make sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for that. I'll see you in the next one and make sure to share this video with other people as well and bye.